Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Michiwi and I'm on a weight loss journey. And today is a busy day. I'm already in the process of cooking food, so I'm just gonna show you the end result and the calorie count for today. So after breakfast, we are going to head to Bellingham Bay to do recovery drills on kayaks. At least once a year, we like to practice self-recoveries and T-shaped recoveries, just so in case we ever capsize, we can get back up in our boats. I consider it just as essential as life jackets, proper clothing, and other equipment such as pumps, paddle floats, and tow ropes. I'm not gonna show you too much of the Bellingham Bay. Uh, I have plenty of videos of us sailing around it, kayaking around it. This is gonna be more focused on recoveries. After that, I think we'll go get some ice cream. There's a really good ice cream shop, and one scoop of cotton candy ice cream isn't gonna kill me on my weight loss journey. I've been pretty good, I think. Oh yeah, that reminds me. This week's new weekly average, 157.1. I have been in a plateau for a while. I am still at the 15 pounds lost since starting blogging back in December, like December 12th, and around 55 pounds down from when I started my weight loss journey. And that brings me to a point that I didn't know I was gonna make today, but let's go into it. Last week, I was on my period, so it jumped very high from 155 to 160. This week, I had a lot of carbs because I was sick for two days, and I relied heavily on white sweet potatoes. I was, am, will be unconcerned about all of that because after so long of doing a weight loss journey, I'm starting to recognize my body's trends. So last week I didn't know what was up and then my period hit and I was like, ah, there it is. And this week I knew carbs were affecting the weight. So next week, if it seems a little bit more dramatic, it is because my body is now sticking around that 155 weight plateau area that I know I'm at. I think recognizing your body's trends and what will affect it will help on people's weight loss journeys, which is why I mention it. It's very easy to get freaked out by the scale when you're really trying to push for a goal that involves a scale. <laughs> so it is a tool to help me guide, but it is not my only tool. And once I started thinking of it that way, it helps me minimize it in my head a little bit better. Okay, gotta get back to cooking. I'll be right back. And the last thing on the plan is to go grocery shopping. Three things today. <laughs> Kayaking with self-recovery drills, ice cream, and grocery shopping. Yeah, that's about it. It's gonna be kind of a gorgeous day. It's gonna be a little hot, but perfect to put ourselves in the water. So I'm really excited about it. And with all that being said, let's get to it. self-recovery and then we are going to do an assisted t-shaped recovery and then it will be my turn and hopefully I can record this while also not floating away All right, so now he's gonna use his shoulder to kind of flip it up. The tapping is to make sure that you know that you've got it handled. So people around know you can handle this, it's okay. There's the flip, I'm floating away. Up he goes, and a flip. There it is. He's gonna straddle the end to get the balance and then he's gonna pull himself forward. Doing good. Butt in first. Oh, 
Now all he has to do is get his legs in if he so chooses, but that is a self-recovery. Failed once, we did tire ourselves out. We, we did a couple miles before doing this to give it realistic expectations. And he is it. He'll have to pump out the cockpit, but otherwise he's ready to go. He is gonna go under again, because now we're gonna do a assisted recovery. And at this point is when I will be grabbing his paddle. I don't know how much of this is gonna be recorded on my hand camera, because I will need to help, but I have my thing up here. Hopefully it's pointing in a correct direction so that you can see it. That lets me know he's good. In your mouth? Up oh, my nose. Oh no. We're gonna need to put, to, to do the teeth. Oh yeah, I gotta grab your back end and put it on my front end, right? Yep. Okay. to do a t-shaped recovery it's different for a t recovery for me than for him because he has a sit in I have a sit on top we have to try and get out as much water as possible before bringing him in he has a pump so if we couldn't get it over the end of my boat and turn it which his boat is very heavy we would have just said okay you're gonna just have to pump it other than that I think pretty good I'm tired now we we kayaked for a couple miles we did this one of the reasons why I couldn't get in the boat for the last, like, what, two years, and then I finally did at the end of the last year, yeah. my boobs were in the way. It's very hard to get my boobs over the boat. Um, the vest helps because it kind of flattens everything out, but there's definitely a spot where it goes, oh, this is hard. And I didn't have any arm muscles. I have, I started with weights at three pounds, and now I'm up to eight, and I also do the big weights where I have 10 pounds on each side and then the barbell is 45. So I am gaining muscle, I am losing weight, and the boobs are shrinking. This is all helping. Other than that, on to the next thing. <laughs> 